What was your favorite TV show growing up? Greatest American Hero. And your nickname growing up? Kier or Kiki. What was the first job you ever had? I was an usher at a performing arts center. So show people to their seat in steep balconies. If you were a superhero, what would your superpower be? Weapons expert. And probably flying. I would fly. Yeah, I would fly. What would your kryptonite be? Ankle weights. Cape or no cape? No cape. Outdated fashion trend you hope makes a comeback? Stirrup pants. And a current trend you hope disappears forever? Mom jeans and man buns. Oh, man buns, they got to go. What's the sexiest accent? South African. And what's the funniest sounding non-funny word? Moist. It's just wrong. What's a hidden talent of yours? I can look at anything and pretty much give you how long it is in inches. Or feet. On a scale of one to 10, how good a detective do you think you'd make? 10. And how good a criminal would you make? <laughs> 10. I think I would know. I would know what to do. What's the first album you ever owned? Born Late by Sean Cassidy. And the first concert you ever went to? Huey Lewis in the News. <laughs> I was older. Guiltiest pleasure in your music library? Metallica. And what's the song that's guaranteed to get you dancing? Smells like teen spirit, Nirvana. Favorite dance move? Pas de Beret. It's like Pas de Beret, Pas de Beret. Yeah, that's down. What's your go-to karaoke song? If, if they don't have Jam On It by Nucleus, uh, then I'm doing Hit Me With Your Best Shot by Pat Benatar. And Chief Vic's go-to karaoke song? In the Air Tonight by Phil Collins. And lastly, what's your favorite non-psych TV theme song? <laughs> Three's Company. Come and knock on our door. You have to do the follow-up. We've been waiting for you. We've been waiting for you. Things are his, hers and hers and his. Three's Company too. Da-da-da-da-da. -da -da -da.